Markets are concerned at the day's low. It's another weekday in trade. 70 points gone on the Nifty. And uh, it is led by a couple of these names in the uh, in the Nifty pack. We have these metal names which are not doing so well. So the metal index is down 2.5%. Mid-cap index too at the lows of the day. And across the board, we are seeing some selling. Banks are marginally outperforming but still in the red. That one is down one-tenth of a percent. Uh, but overall, it is another weekday for the markets. Market breadth also in favor of the declines. Uh, well, you know, it's the first day of the March series. I actually forgot which month <laughs> it is, but uh, so fast, the time's uh, slipping away so fast. But yes, March series, the first day, and it's not looking so good. No, it's not, right? We're almost at the low point yeah. of the day. It's 17,450 on the Nifty. In fact, that level has also been taken out. And now all eyes will be on the 200-day moving average on the Nifty, which is 17,362. We're still about 80, 90 points away from our 200-day moving average. Let's see whether we can hold on to it today and over the next couple of days. A person who might have some insights on where we are heading is Dharmesh Shah of ICICI Securities, and he joins in for a technical check on the markets. Dharmesh, what have you made of the grind down and your trading recommendations for today? Yeah. So, good afternoon, Reema. Definitely, I think so the mood, mood is very pessimistic right now in the market, and we see a selling pressure. This has been the sixth consecutive session where we have been picking the lower top, lower bottom formation. But what we believe, I think, so going forward, 73 and 53, which was a budget low, also 200-day moving average. And 17,200, again, 80% retracement of this rally from 16,800, 18,800. We believe, I think, so 17,200 remains to be the very strong support. We expect that to hold in this current corrective phase. One silver lining, what we see in the market right now is that the market is entering into oversold territory after six consecutive trading sessions of sell lower top lower bottom formation so we believe i think so going short at the current level could be a bit of a risky as we are nearing to a very crucial support of the range of 17300 200 so believe i think so the next or the coming next week we will see a technical bounce back i'm saying not a correct a fall which has seen from 18000 to 17200 350 without any respite we'll see a more of a technical pullback towards 17600 to 700 but yes Currently, the mood is down. So, 17,200, 300, we expect to hold in this current corrective phase and we would see a technical bounce from the oversold territory. As far as stocks are concerned, Rima, again, I would say that the power space has been doing very good in this current corrective phase and we see a more of a relative outperformance in most of these power stocks. NTPC remains to be our top pick inside the power space and where we have seen a stock has seen a breakout of a long decade consolidation. And that has spent out with a strong volume. So indicating again a structural turnaround happening in NTPC. Even if you look in the current corrective phase, I think so the NTPC remain to be the outperformer in this current corrective phase. So NTPC, we believe, I think so maybe the some once the market see a stabilization, we will see a technical pullback even in NTPC where 190 to 192 is likely target, keeping a stop loss of 158. So among the all, I think so NTPC remains to be a top pick at the current levels. Okay, Dharmesh, thank you so much. That's a technical check on the markets today for you. We'll sip into a short break now. On the other side, Shashank Agrawal, the director at Salasa Techno 